Hello and welcome back to Rusky's Adventures. So today I'm coming from the bike shed. I should have been coming from you on a ride. And again, my bike, well my bike's not, it's me. My maintenance uh, has been a bit lackadaisy. Well, at least it's, so basically let me take you back. Last night I was gonna go on a ride. Uh, I've got all my kit ready. Give the bike a quick look over and I thought, I'll just check my brake pads. Now, when I come to the rear ones, I don't know if that's gonna show it, you can see the lip there so there's plenty on that on the other side as you can see there's absolutely there's a it's not bringing up on the camera but there's a tiniest amount of brake pad left on there and one of the calipers is moving freely and the other one seems to not moving quite as well as it should do spoke to the bike shop and they've given me some things that i can do so i've been out and i've got myself some blue roll sandpaper brake and clutch cleaner new set of pads I got these. I have ordered some new ones. I've had some Uber bike brake pads, I think. But for the time being, I'm gonna put these in. I'm going with a sintered, uh, the DXO brake pads, but basically they fit mine. I've got guide tees on mine. So I'm gonna put these on. And she's just there feeling sorry for itself. It wants to go out and ride, as do I. Um, and we're gonna get, I'm gonna take my discs off. I'm gonna sand them down. I'm gonna clean the calipers up. I'm gonna re-bleed the system. And I'm going to do the same like until I did on the front last night. I sanded the disc down. I, I used some Loctite on the bolts and cleaned it all up. That seems to be all right. There's loads of meat left on the front there. But the back ones today are going to get an overall of buying uh, a new brake system or putting bigger discs on. And actually, after seeing the state of them pads last night, I know why they've been feeling, why they've been faded. So these, I had organic on original which aren't as strong as Sintered. Sintered, apparently, I've got an amazing biting strength on them, so I'm gonna do this, and then next year, maybe I might put, or later on in the year, put a new brake system on there. So I'll come back to you and I'll show you in a sec what's what. So if you can see in there, squeeze the brake lever. And it's not doing anything. You can just see it moving slightly. Right, so that one's moved out there. I've had to go to work and get my uh, brake fluid. I left it there, borrowed it to a lad at work who uh, needed to bleed his system. And I had loads of air in the system, so I've cleaned up the calipers. And I'll just show you. So I've bled the caliper, and you can see now, all four are moving. I'm just giving that a tiny squeeze. I've cleaned it, and I've uh, bled the system. Now, I'll just show you the state of the discs. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna sand the surface here, so you can see how shiny it is. I'm gonna sand them uh, and just get a bit of an edge on it, get rid of these grooves, just so the uh, new pads have got something nice to bed onto. So, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but you can see where I've, uh, I've got rid of them grooves on the pads, on the discs even. Let's show the other side, that's not been done. And you can see all the lines where the old discs have been moving through and then they scored there where the pad's not been touching properly so uh yeah i'm be glad to uh i think this should be done nicely once i've bedded in the pads i think it should have some good bite right what i'm gonna do is i want to get this one sanded up i'm gonna get some new thread lock on and i'm gonna put them back on the bike what i'm gonna do is on the bottom in the comments i'm gonna put all the links in and there'll be an eye appearing here now of where I've found all my information to do this. It's all off GMBN, but I'll leave you the videos what I've used, which I've, which I've found helpful. And uh, yeah, I'll come back to you once I'm done. See how it is. So it's now three days later and I went for a little spin down to one of my mates with my son Caden, but um, I never got a chance to bed him in properly. Was only, it's all flat down there and uh, yeah. The center pads, so they need a good, <laughs> a good ass breaking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ride from here now up to Tandle Hills and then down Thornham Lane. Thornham Lane's a big, it's not big, but it's <clears throat> it's long, a long hill off road where I can uh, start blasting on the brakes. So let's go and do that and then see what the difference is. My initial reaction the other day was it was a little bit better. I wouldn't say 100% better, but because I've sanded the front and the back discs and the front pads and put new pads on the rear it's going to need a good sharp bedding in before it gets to its optimum if that makes sense 
it does to me. So I'm just gonna get all my gear ready and get out. Right, so that's us out at last. Go and have some fun. Solo. Get these brakes ready to. Definitely feel stronger. I'm sure they've got more to give you. A little bunny rabbit on a little trail run. So, last time I come here, I didn't have an head torch. All right, so, um, so peaceful at night though. <clears throat> with this light, such a good spread. With this uh, exposure Diablo. It's the Mark 11, the tap edition. For those you haven't seen. If you remember, I'll leave a link in the video, but basically, you can tap like that, and it goes brighter. The downside of it though, which I found the other week, there's some steps here and I rolled down them and with every bump the light thought it was a tap and just kept changing bloody brightnesses which was a bit confusing it was like doing downhill in a rave anyway onwards and upwards so I've just done the ride up to the monument the wind blowing against the sun um, yeah I'm gonna have a rest and then we're gonna be headed yeah you can't really tell but where those lights are there we're gonna be heading all the way down here right down probably about four or five hundred five blah, 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 yeah. four to five hundred foot of descending over maybe two mile two and a half miles so I'm not dead steep and uh Get those brakes heated up and get embedded in. Right, on the bike, let's get going. Okay, this is the start of it. Let's go. Get these brakes bedded in. So I'll leave a link again at the top for everything I found. Call off GM at the end. some water on the pads as he said in the video uh, need a puddle as well so they said in the video to use muddy water as long as it's not oil it'll get stronger Definitely getting stronger, 100%. That was just my back brake then, as is this. So 
it's locking up most of the time with two fingers well every time but with one it's not quite there yet now I had a resin pad on last time and here I've got fully sintered the ones I've got coming I've gone for a semi sintered just because it's my understanding anyhow it gives you the best of both worlds Right, I'm going to use the time lapse now, jump on the canal for the ride home. Right, I'm home, had a bath, area and shower, put the bike away, give it a rinse down and I've just edited my video and um, wearing my Christmas pyjamas that my kids got me for Christmas. Um, yeah, the brakes, um, I'm impressed with the brakes they're better than the one i'm sure they're going to be even better once i put the semi-sintered ones because the sintered need to heat up and with the type of riding i'm doing i'm guessing they'd be more better for going downhill because obviously getting temperature in them but what kind of riding i do i do like a lot of flats and then i do a bit of downhill uh trails and stuff where you're not really using the brakes heavy well, I don't anyhow, not at the minute with the way I'm riding, so I'm going to go with the semi-sintered ones. And I think that's going to give me the best of both worlds. If that don't work, I've got two options. The most expensive option is to upgrade the, the full system, put on 200mm discs, go with a Magora brake system or a Hope system. Something that's going to give me powerful braking. With me being a big lad, I need it. Because at the minute my confidence is growing and obviously it's all very well and good going fast but you need to stop an option two is just to put bigger discs on there but after speaking to the bike shop they said you'd be best off just upgrading the full system so yeah i need to mull over that and have a think and price things up because do i buy the brake discs and pay that money out or do we just go with do we just buy the discs and pay for that or then and then do that and not happy with it and then end up buying a new uh disc themselves uh full system themselves i don't know i need to look but at the minute i'm happy with it it's going to be good enough for what i'm doing and i've still got the new pads coming which should be here tomorrow so i'll throw them in at some point over the weekend because i'm going to be busy tomorrow night and riding out on thursday night with my mates which will be filming by the way Hopefully I'm going to do some jumps on some steps. We'll see. My confidence is kind of there. Anyway, so thanks for watching. And if, you, uh, if you're new to the channel, please consider pressing that subscribe button. It helps massively. Uh, comment if you've got any ideas on which way to go with my breaks. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you soon. Bye.